This video is dedicated. Sorry, I gotta scratch my nostril real quick. <laughs> this video is dedicated to you. Um, I am going to answer some of the questions that you guys have for me here on my comment section. Um, let's see. Arbal1966 asked, is Christy Minoza Online gone? Um, well, yes, it is gone, but it is going to be replaced by my new site, lovechristinem.com. So, be sure to check it out. <laughs> um, Village809 asked what to expect on the new website. Uh, well, um, I decided to create a new site just because I wanted to have more control over what went on. I wanted to make sure my updates were up to par and also I wanted to showcase more of um, I guess my personality and more videos like more pretty much more reality based real life stuff because my old site was really glam photo shoots and all that and I wanted to do something different for you guys so I hope you guys like it <laughs> and for those of you um, sorry I still get nervous <laughs> um, and I was scratching my bug bites I got bug bites when I went to Hawaii that's so gross see it's not very sexy at all um, uh, for those of you who've been following my modeling I pretty much been doing implied photos for the last several years now and I decided to do something new with this site just because, I mean, now that I'm older and I just, you know, I wanted to, um, I guess, show you guys more. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I've always been really, really open with my body. I, I've never really felt anything wrong with um, nudity or sexiness, but the reason why I always shied away from really showing you guys the goods was because, um, you know, I was younger. I started modeling when I was 17, and, you know, when I started modeling, my mom and my dad were like, if you ever show your body to the world, we will kill you. We'll just own you. We won't even know you. And I mean, I re like getting that response at, you know, 17, 18 years old, it kind of just like stuck with me. So I was always really scared. Um, I love and respect my parents more than anything. I, you know, they're my best friends. And I'm just like, I just never want to do anything to upset them. I've always been that way ever since I was a kid. So that kind of just like stuck with me. And as I got older and I just kept on modeling and as my pictures got a little more sexier and risque, um, you know, my parents would see them. They never really said anything to me. They would just kind of like, you know, see them and just kind of like, I guess, look, turn the other cheek. So I've always been afraid to really talk to them about it. And recently, um, my dad, he walked by a newspaper in the Philippines and he saw my pictures all like plastered on the back of him. And they were my pretty sexy implied photos. And my dad, of course, assuming the worst, figured that I was already doing nudes. So he called me and was like, a, in Tagalog, he was like, I hope you know that they're using your photos on this Filipino newspaper. And it's some like weird, like tabloid newspaper. And it was under the section Playboy Corner. So, of course, to like a Filipino dad, I Playboy, that's naked, that's a porno, you know? So, he already assumed that I was doing new and um, called me about it, and he didn't seem mad. Like, he was just kind of like, I just hope you know that they're using your pictures. And I, all I could really say was, <laughs> Thanks, Dad. And that's it. I was like, so how's the Philippines? Um, 
So yeah, he didn't seem angry at all. Like, I mean, so with that, and also with my new webcam dancing, you know, I kind of was just like, damn, I guess it's time. So, you know, I decided to just go ahead and get more sexier in my photos. And also just because I owe so much to my fans, it's been 10 years that I've been modeling and, you know, like I, um, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys. Cause like, I don't know. I've never really been like a go-getter when it came to modeling. I don't go to castings and I don't do like photo submissions like I should be. And most of it is because I have this anxiety because you guys know that I have this anxiety with talking and everything. So most of my jobs, I've been lucky enough to get them online and also um, get them, um, you know, make money off my website. So I wouldn't really be in this position if, I, if it wasn't for my fans. So I owe you guys more, I feel, you know? And so before I retire or quit modeling, I decided, yes, it is time to go a lot more risque. And so you will be pretty surprised when you go check out my new website because it will have a different side of me and I guess a side of me that you guys have been waiting for for the past few years. So, yes, you will see the new Christine. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what you will see on my new site. Sorry, my brain gets like, doo -doo 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 -doo. so my stories get all, you know, they go every which way, but then they come to a common point. So anyway, um, copy paper 92704 asks, would I, have I ever worn a thong to the beach? Um, yes, but I would never walk around in a thong only because I, I get uncomfortable when people stare. So when I go to the beach, I wear a bikini top, a thong, and booty shorts. And so if there's a lot of people on the beach, I'll just tan with my booty shorts on. And I'll turn over and I'll tan. But when there's no one at the beach or the pool, those booty shorts come off. So yes, I do wear a thong to the beach. But I would never have the balls to walk around in a thong um, if it's crowded. <laughs> so I come prepared with my booty shorts. Um, let's see, Archbus, what are my later plans in life? Hi, Archbus. Um, my later plans in life are I eventually want to get married and have a huge, huge family. Um, but as for now, I do plan on modeling for the next year or two. But, um, I am thinking of retiring just because it's been a long run and I have been working on some side business projects that I hope go well. Um, I will let you guys know what those are once they're up and running. Um, I still get uh, I'm pretty superstitious, so I don't like to, to count my egg, eggs before they hatch. So once it's up and running, I will for sure let you guys know. But yep, I will be modeling for the next year and a half or so, or until you guys still want to see me. <laughs> okay. Um, then Nikki Mar asked, how do I keep my boobs from staying perky? Or how do I keep my boobs to stay perky? Well, um, they're, you know, they're not as perky as I like. Um, so they do sag. But I wear clothes that, you know, have a lot of lift and that are tight. So, um, and oh, and when I wear a bikini top, I tie it really tight at the neck. So they lift these puppies up and I wear a lot of firming lotion I like Nivea firming lotion um, just to keep my skin soft and firm and Mega Canal asked what is my best relationship advice um, uh, let's see I'm not the most perfect person in a relationship although I try to be um, I don't like to date I've been in pretty much long-term relationships um, ever since I started dating. So most of my relationships have lasted um, for a long time, like a few years. 
And the best advice I can give is just honesty is the best policy. Because if you're just honest with your significant other, then there's really nothing to hide. And, you know, things just happen to fall into place with that. And also, um, I try to be as unselfish as possible. And I try to do what I can to keep my man happy. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty old-fashioned with that. I like to cook. I like to clean. Um... I like to keep my man happy. So as as long as your significant other is honest with you and they they try their best to keep you happy, then that's how a relationship ends up, you know, lasting lasting pretty long. So, but once like one or the other, like honesty or trying to keep the other one happy, kind of like falters, then that's when relationships go south. So those two things, honesty and keeping one another happy. And, oh, that's about it. I hope I answered your guys' questions. If you have more questions for me, feel free to put them in the comment section, and I will try my best to get back to you. Bye.